Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Moonscars. In the last episode, we began exploring through the bowels of the earth, looking for Lajos, as until we find the integral vessel, we will be unable to be allowed to see the sculptor Zoran. We are coming to grips with the fact that we are our own master now. Not that we thought we weren't before, but we killed the human that we were based on. And apparently, our cleft ichor gland no longer is either cleft or is bothering us at all. We've fought quite a few things, and it hasn't been getting any easier for us down, down here though, but we're doing fairly well so far. We have to get down to where I believe he's located here, but we can't access it from this spot. So, that means, well, descending even lower, seeing what we can find. On that note... On that note, we have apparently, according to my Steam achievements, found all of the weapon upgrades and life upgrades that we can find in this place. Interesting. Let's get down there now. And hopefully, I continue to do well. This is where we found the one gentleman who gave us his heart, or his ichor gland, to throw it into the corpse pits. Oh, we're not allowed this way! Okay, I was mistaken. We go the other way, then. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> I thought we had to go around to get to him. Not reflections. Entrance duct. So we go this way and up, then. I know I mentioned it before, but I do really like that change to the enemy's shields, and that you no longer have to only be able to hurt them. with Iker abilities, or witcheries. Well, the guy actually hit us with that, his lava attack, but thankfully it didn't do, it didn't kill me. Does hurt quite a bit, though. All right. Oh, hello. dead end. Maybe there's something special there if we're going through this area with moon hunger and enabled. We did not find all of the earrings, and Adelinka is now dead. Though I suspect she wasn't actually a human. 
just a very realistic looking Claiborne. I suspect almost all of us are in this realm. And all the humans probably perished a long time ago. Speaking, by the way, of witcheries, what are we using currently? Projectile protection, deep wounds, reckless fencer. Could put on a witchery one instead. Take it. Decrease witchery costs. We're holding on to a spite level up for the Ikor and health restored. Since if we fight Lajos, I may want one of those around. Sure, still about the pictures that we see in the background here. That must okay. This must be a moon thing then. Her womb for this picture seems to be important as everyone sits around her as she holds up that half moon image. Stars, moon, sun. Whoever did the elevators, you gotta you gotta give them a little bit of time for the player to be able to get onto them. Nothing on that passage looked like we could destroy it wall-wise. Our secondary attack puts a dot, uh oh, a dot effect on others, and I think we've made it to Mr. Lajos. Biker gland that we're smacking here. Strong clay. 
play tastes better. I need something that you have, Lajos. The integral vessel. Why? You had your own, Irma. Not anymore, I reckon. What are you talking about? You lost it that night, Wanda said. My memory of the night is vague, Lajos. Means... She robbed you. She? No matter. You will not get my vessel. And why would you need it, Lajos? You don't serve the sculptor anymore. Neither do you. Hard to speak. But know this. I can't let the vessel into the kiln. She won't make it while I watch the way. Go tell her that. I don't... Killin' key. Key to the killin' in the heart of the earth bowels. Item found. Memory mold. Cruel Ajos. We'll take extra health. That was not so tough in the end. I've heard that battle was much tougher. I, or maybe I'm thinking of a different battle, but I remember reading some of the reviews and the name Lajos came up, which was often associated with, uh, by reviews I mean on Steam, with people downvoting the game. <laughs> they apparently hated this battle in, that much, but that patch which had occurred as I began playing this game supposedly tweaked the difficulty of the Lajos battle. So maybe the maybe we're the first persons to get through this somewhat easily. I'm going to hold on to my level up, though, for a full heal if I need it. Oops. Mistimed that. 50,000 bone powder for us, too. Why don't we spend a gland for Iker in this area? And then we'll... learn a new ability. Could try learning a doppelganger skill. A decoy. I'm actually kind of glad we had the pillars equipped for that fight. It just so happened that that flying skull, we kind of needed it to destroy it. Let's, uh... Let's take the decoy. And we'll give it a try. So let's see. So let's put it here. Oh, I like the picture of this also. I, I know it's for artistic reasons that everything is black and white. When red are the only colors we see, generally. Unless we can see down there the buttons on my gamepad. But I would have liked it if it was some of these keywords were a little different. Okay, well we're not... Well... We're not. We're going to have to go up this way. Oh, our poison doesn't damage them. Oh no, no, I'm sorry. Uh, we didn't use the poison, Tim. You used your, uh, your decoy. Okay, 
this is nowhere near as effective as pillars. They also seem to have reduced the cost of it. Although maybe it's the oh I have my thirty percent witchery cost currently okay Aww. oh we haven't seen her before but we saw Ian talk about her Aww. who goes there I recognize your presence I'm Irma my girl. I prayed for your return, dear Blade Maiden. Have you found my eyes? Don't think we are familiar. But you should remember me, for this miserable hag is your old queen, Horpanya. You, Irma, were like a daughter to me. I wish I could see your gorgeous red hair again. Nonsense, old woman. My hair is not red. Please, Irma, I beg you. Everybody has abandoned me. My husband, Drahan, my little Lajos, and now you. Please bring me my eyes. I'm so tired of loneliness and darkness. So tired. Um, nope, that's wrong. I'm gonna I'm gonna mess those up every single time I cast them. No, we don't have the key for that door either, apparently. Okay, I, I like the decoy. That's pretty a clever use of it, I think. Something unlocked this way. The door. This feels like the first time I was down here. I think I practiced a little bit off screen in an area like this. And uh, wow, was it tough. First getting through this area. Or not, not, sorry, not this area. Where was it? It was here? It was right here, right below this particular mirror. Interesting that it's our doppelganger, effectively. I guess to help us, in case we get con confused as to who we are. Oh, this time, that Tim here, doppelganger didn't help you at all. Mistiming the parries is bad. 
Both thematically, because it looks awful. <laughs> it's gigantic hit. And also because it feels awful, because I, I recognize the fact that I did I failed that. Okay, I really hate when the game has me do that long distance dash for no reason. Like it I'm oh, sorry, it interprets that I'm doing it. Nope, stop. Please stop, game. I checked the stick, and it's not sticky keys. They're not, like, glued. They're very responsive. So, I unfortunately will blame the game for misinterpreting the input. Maybe it's my game pad that it's just not as used to. I'm using a, Log uh, a Logitech game pad here. That time I did it on purpose. That's how I didn't do it. So it's only when a creature's around that it apparently wants to do this. If ever you see me do it in battle, know that it's not- I don't intend to do the long distance dash. Nope, that's not what I want you to do, game. to go this way at the moment. Uh-oh. down here. Your friend, thankfully, has no jump attack, so he can't quite reach me. Nope. I do wish I could rebind that to some other button. But I can't. Both my normal dash and the long dash are 
keyed to the same button. And even moving it to a different one won't solve that problem. Big guy left. Let's go get him. so good when you parry successfully, it's so bad when you do not parry successfully. I think it was supposed to go down, so I, I'm trying to explore all the other places first. So I can un both unlock shortcuts and potentially find... I too at this rate to this one. Good. This is a big one, so he's going to hurt a lot. Hmm. Making good progress. None of these little challenge rooms so far have defeated me. You know, at first, I did not... At first, I couldn't really... Oh, at first. When the patch went live, I had difficulty un, uh, instinctively, immediately, 
telling you the difference. And there is no reason for me to have this trouble between the red eye and blue eye attacks. Since the moment I saw a flash of light in the eyes, I immediately would try to counter. But I've gotten used to it now. And I don't... I guess we're going, we're going to swap out our decoy. For a parasite at the moment. Oh, Manton, you might not have wanted to do that. Oh, you're not gonna live through that. Nope, no way. And now we have moon hunger. So now everything is even more difficult. How far away was that? Wow. Far away. Okay. We can at least warp... ...to this place. I don't think the earrings will likely be useful any longer. And I don't think I want moon hunger in effect either. Right. I should have used a decoy there <laughs> to distract some of those enemies. Now that we died, I think we lost the bonus health that we had as well. Which means we're going to do the weapon right. Yep, to grab that for more health again. Looks like the earrings, even th though the moon's no longer hu in hunger mode. Still spawn, at least near that mirror, where you had done the right. But without a link of dead, we can't make anything out of these anymore. Looks like we get to keep one of our effects. Oh, this was where we died. In effect as well, huh? still hungry. It's 
So all that passage also was for was for a shortcut. Okay. I think I think these are worth doing in case I do perish on the way. We can just get back there somewhat quickly. You know, I am so glad that I did level that pillar's ability. I wouldn't have thought there'd be so many flyers down in the bowels of the earth. There might be another boss down here. Bloodlust Gemstone 2. Increases the damage of the next attack after dealing a killing blow. I've been... Oh. I thought I, thought I was... I just died. I was, I, was, I was a doppelganger. Should I maybe change up these a bit? Let's try Witch Gemstone of Bone Powder for a bit. I can't tell how expensive that is. Powder-wise. Here we go. This will this will tell me. Two hundred powder? Really? That's it? Yeah. To cast any spells. I want at least one of them over there, so I don't have to worry about it. Bowels, milk vessel. So just this milk is still warm. Even Grey Irma doesn't dare to taste it. Something for Etelag. That's quite a way to go back to him. 
but let's see if we can manage to give him this. He hasn't been here, though, the past several times we've shown up. And he's not here this time, either. <laughs> you look scared, Lady Irma. What happened? You! You were dead! Ah. Just another empty shell. I never let a doppelganger arise. It would be too cruel. Adelinka. You are not a human. No less than you, old friend. Why are you a Claiborne? Who did this to a child? I did it. What? I had my reasons. Won't you tell me? It's not the right time yet, Irma. I'm sorry. I appreciate the care. It's what real friends do, right? <laughs> so we can still collect jewels for her. But I can't give the cat... Oh, is he dead? I'm not allowed to give Etalag the milk we have for him. I don't see how we would have gotten it before this point, though. Ion has nothing new to tell us. We did pick up several mold memories. Interesting that we're able to encapsulate memories into clay and then remember them again. Like writing to a disc, as it were. <laughs> the bowels of the earth. The darkest place. The farthest from her rays. Frankly, sister, I couldn't have imagined you would reach this far. It was not easy. You should know that far below, in the deepest cleft, lies the bowels core. The place where every clay vessel was annealed. The master kiln. Why should I know this? The sculptor wanted you to bring the vessel there, but no pristine succeeded. How can you know this? <laughs> I just know. Don't ask. <laughs> Horpanya. <laughs> oh! The old hag is still alive! I'm kind of surprised. Everybody in the castle was afraid of her. She could be... intimidating. Even the old king lacked guts to confront her. And this man used to hunt the Vesper boars with bare hands. Curious what men cannot endure. Curious what men can and cannot endure. But the times change. The king found a younger foreign woman. Horpanya's son was deprived of entitlement to the throne and the old queen was cast away and abandoned, like a plain mortal woman. <laughs> Indeed, Horpanya is the past that hates the present for its very existence. Common story, don't you think? Like us, I suppose. <laughs> Cruel Ajos, the guardian of the Master Kiln. His parent flesh was a son to Horpanya, the old queen. King Drahan expelled Lajos. He couldn't stand his older son. For Lajos never desired to rule, thus didn't fit the throne. Cruel Lajos told me something weird, priestess. Pray tell, sister, what did he tell you? He said that I had the integral vessel, and I lost it. Someone stole it. Must be someone I knew. Why would you think so, sister? Just a gut feeling. I learned hard to believe it. I'm going to find the one who robbed me. After you kill Lajos. 
Yes, indeed. <laughs> May the cool mistress bless you, sister. Well, we have 36 bone powder. We might as well learn another new ability. We'll just take Spike. It's cheap. We can max it out. And then sure, we'll take Chain Boulder. Oop, not enough for the last one at the moment, though. Maybe we have to find Etalag down there? Or is there another place we could actually see Etalag? That's the king. That's the gargoyle. No, there is no other place at the moment. That's the Red Queen. We can go back to her, perhaps. That's the old hag. think she'll have anything to say. Hmm. I wonder if this is the young queen that the king abandoned his original wife for. I don't think so. <laughs> no, she has nothing new to say. We have not found any eyes for her yet. And actually, it would be faster for us to go back up to that mirror. Tim, you have four spite abilities. The moon's not glowing yet, but it will soon. We could use another level up as well. Let's see who this is. We didn't kill Lajos, so this Lajos must have a second form. Which I'm guessing this is. Do we want to do this battle without a level up? Let's put on one of our Absolution Bloodstones. What's in your vessel, cruel Ajos? Irma, you reek of dark ichor. Sweet. More than before. 
You are one of us. Born in clay, in perfect prison. So you already know. I've killed my parent flesh, a true human. Ha! Ha ha! What? What's funny, giant? You were never a human, Grey Irma. Whom you killed is hardly one too. Grey means clay. Red Irma, your parent, your human, cleft you. All of us. But I was a human. No. No. She tried to destroy the vessel, and she does not give up. Give me the vessel, now. Too many humans want it for their own ends. I can't let them have it. Good for you, Lajos. Step back. We are both of clay kin. Never. I need to face Zoran more than to see you safe, cleft giant. Then fight! I won't let her feed on you. I, cruel Lajos, will devour you myself, Grey Sister. <clears throat> now face the last obstacle before you face yourself. Hate that that dodge thinks that's what I want to do. I hate it. do game
destroy this! Damn. Lajo slide about the vessel. It's cleft. Like Wanda's. The moon eclipsed the sky. Moon rites won't work anymore, so it we're permanently in moon hunger. I'm guessing is what that means. That wasn't that bad as long as I as long as the game didn't interpret the long dash. And I thankfully realized that when the dual hands go for their pound, jump up at an angle and then dash, and you should be safe. Or rather, you, you're able to avoid that attack if you do that. Wow, I can't believe I did it my first try. I've heard, I've heard that battle was extremely difficult. So I never was a human being, Zoran. But what does it matter? What does it matter if a human with the same face stood behind me? Lajos called her Red Irma. <sighs> uh, ah! Ugh. She was the one who started rancor in our squad. She was the one who made me turn against Chakran and Wanda. And she crippled me, left to die with no Iker. A human worse than any mad Claiborne. I thought Zoran was to blame for everything. But maybe the guilt is shared. Maybe it was all her. <gasps> I've got a weird feeling. Wow. Hmm. If I've seen Red Irma recently, she must know about the vessel. Beware, kitten. You're so close to her now. So close. He visited us, came to our place. Good for you. Let me in and maybe I'll lend an ear. The sculptor, the maker of all things, has granted us with his presence. Us all, his lovely figurines. I said doors first, stories second. Let me in. No. Shoo, shoo. You can't enter the kiln with communion vessel empty. For he sealed the kiln and left for good. He came here while you were busy with Lajos. Must be tired of waiting for you. <laughs> so grand he was, our maker. And he commanded the hatch kept shut. Nobody shall pass, in or out. Perfectly put. I, like everything he does. Gargoyles of the Kiln, I need you to cast a mold of somebody. But the sculptor commanded to keep the hatch shut. Shh! He said to keep it shut only from Irma. We might help you, say, for a reasonable price. Bribe gargoyles with 10,000 bone powder? Sure. Nice. Tasty. Now pass this ugly thing here. We'll do our part, Clayhead. Our part is done. Not without hiccups, though. Rest assured, you'll meet him soon enough, Clayhead. So we were able to cast Yamira's gland down there. But apparently there's nothing else we can do here. 
Sod off. Only he can unseal the kiln. I don't know where to go next. I don't like not having my projectile protection on. I think that's one of the only reasons why we haven't been dying to some of these ranged attacks that have been levied at us by all the flyers. And one of the only reasons why we're surviving those battles as well. I suppose we'll find all the earrings now. If there are any left around. Oh man, I don't really want to go back through the bowels of the earth looking for earrings though. Let's make it back up to the mirror. We'll go back to the mold factory and then we'll call it a session. Assuming I can survive up until then. I have no desire to fight these things at the moment. I just want to get away. Where would Red Irma be? We don't have the eyes for her, do we? Did I have them and not realize it? Oh, you know, we might have them and not realized it. We do! I forgot we found these quite some time ago. We'll have to go back to her then. We'll do that later. Do you remember the deeper time? What time? When there was no time. And no flow to divide the moments. No you, no us, no Irma, no gargoyles. Before we came to exist, before the creation, the time of the grand surface, and of our mother's dreamless sleep. Oh, miss that slumber we do. Under merciless moonlight of her daughter, the mortals are consumed, cycle after cycle. She preys on minds divided, lost in their loneliness. Like you. Like us. I wish we could forget. Forget ourselves. Once and forever. We should talk with her, even though I know we don't have the earrings that she wants. At nights like this one, I feel someone touching my skin with claws. Gently, almost tenderly, yet even the softest touch always leaves the marks. You know what I'm talking about, Irma, do you not? You sound... different, Adelinka. Poor Irma. The moon did plunge its talons into your head. Take this. Might help make it through the night. Trance Bloodstone makes Irma invulnerable during healing. Yeah, another one of those. That's the second one of those we have now. Yemra is here. A clay version of himself. Yurema? Yurema, 
Are you here? <sighs> what? Sister? You are cleft already. Something during the molding went wrong. I'm sorry, Yurema. Sister. Need to protect. At the cruel night. Mm. I go. I guard. You're going to help her become the true queen, right? I'm not stopping you. We all have to do what we have to. Good luck, Yurema. I get the feeling his sister's about to be killed. I need to hide so bad, yet no place can grant me shelter. Why can't something in this flesh stand still for a moment? It rides all the time. The celestial mistress comes for her harvest. I can feel this too. She wants us to be her vessels for hatred and morbid love. But what if I have nothing to carry? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. My ichor gland is forever hollow. It's like I don't belong here, Great Irma. As a clayborn, I was born by a man without the woman's participation. If the moon is a great mother, I am certainly not her spawn. Peculiar. Maybe... Maybe to become free, we just need to lose everything we carry. Depths of this lost iron may conceal a tiny spark. I don't have a name for this yet. But it somehow eases my plight. I wish I could find it too. Where is the priestess? What? What are you trying to tell me? You're not helping. She left for good, kitten. You'll find her atop the apex. I cannot interact with that tele- Oh, we can. Look. This night has finally come, Zoran. Our kitten has brought it. Which means my time is running out. <coughs> it's a beautiful night indeed. So beautiful. Find her on Apex Top, kitten. She is waiting for you. There must be a place we have to give him the milk. And we cannot do so. Alright, everyone. But well, we'll stop here. I guess we'll level up. My boulder ability as well. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everyone.